Uh, I'm currently studying Certificate 3 in Building Construction and I do that uh, out at TAFE in uh, Croydon and uh, I do that on every Tuesday night with David Allard as well. So Yeah, it's really good. Well, um, I completed my first year when I was at the Cats and now that I'm here of, um, at, at the exact same path as where David's at so we can sort of do the exact same stuff as like doing, um, we can work together. So it's worked out really well. Yeah, I suppose at uh, trade school you get to use your hands a lot and um, be outside as well. So you sort of you get to meet new people out there at, um, at the trade school, and uh, I suppose the really enjoyment thing is getting your hands dirty, sort of getting on the tools and building things that you really enjoy, and um, getting the satisfaction of building a house one day. Yeah, well, I suppose you meet new people as well as um, I sort of just do what you love and get your hands on sort of the tools and outside in like the environment sort of it's different to what I do like we're inside sort of and then outside when we're training but we don't really get to use sort of your hands with different tools and I suppose you get to like I'll sort of look at things where you can build your own house sort of when you're finished and um, it'll just be a massive goal when you sort of I sort of drive past houses which I've sort of helped out in and it's just a massive highlight because you know you sort of put a hand in that to fin completing it. Yeah, well, me and David do the same course, and then um, Andy Carazzo, uh, he's a he's got his own business in uh, electrical. So, um, and I think Matthew Cruz has sort of done a bit of uh, landscape gardening as well. So, got a few boys that um, interested in the trade. Um, well, I suppose Andy Carazzo, he's pretty much set himself up for life. He's pretty much running his own business already and um, he still gets out on the tools as well and he re really enjoys the way sort of he goes about things so I, I really back him in to be successful after footy. Um, well I suppose it's sort of it's sort of hands on if you enjoy the outside environment, hands on, um, using different tools and sort of having that experience of sort of having the satisfaction of what you do, you sort of see your uh, end um, result so I suppose that's the main thing I enjoy and just having a go at it you sort of you can always try it and if you don't like you can choose a different trade but um, yeah I'm really enjoying my carpentry apprenticeship. Yeah I suppose footy gets a lot on your mind um, you're doing it sort of six to seven days a week and I suppose having the sort of side path to um, like do like my carpentry apprenticeship sort of helps me because you sort of you think about other things you've got another challenge and yeah it's just really enjoyable. The other night, me and David um, did our framing sort of side of things, and we built a, um, a whole like sort of little modified sort of size of a house with uh, all the walls. We put them up, and then we put um, the window in, so we had to sort of cut out a section for that, and then we had to hang a door as well. So I suppose there was a few different challenges with all the corners, the doors, the window, and um, yeah, that was really exciting. Yeah, well, I suppose I'll work with my brother, sort of I'll stay in the family kind of thing, and um, I suppose we can have, he's got his own business at the moment called Lay the Constructions, and um, I'll just jump in that, and maybe uh, I'll still look at doing firefighting as well as my carpentry, because firefighting is only four days on, four days off, so I'll be able to do my carpentry as well as do another thing as well. I mean, to have the sort of qualification of the um, building construction under your belt sort of really takes you a long way, and um, yeah, hopefully one day Lay the Construction sort of can come up and get really booming.